Uh, the new story for me is the story of this reunion, reconnection. Uh, in the last uh, couple of hundred years, we have come to believe that nature is separate from us and we are separate from nature. Nature out there and it's, we can do what we like to nature. We can cut down the rainforest, we can put um, uh, animals in factory farms and slaughter them as we like, we can overfish the oceans, uh, we can pollute the rivers, we can pollute the water and change climate. We can do what we like, but we are somehow superior to nature. We are somehow rulers of nature. That's the old story. And the scientific world, the, the materialistic world, uh, the world of commerce, the world of business, the world of individualism, the world of capitalism, world of communism, all these words are the old story now, the old paradigm, where we think we exploit nature, we exploit people, market rules, profit rules, money rules, we work for uh, name, fame, power, money, profit. That's the old story. The new story is that we are connected with nature. We are part of nature. What uh, Thich Nhat Hanh, the Buddhist master says, we are interbeings, we are interdependent, we are interrelated, nothing is separate. So this uh, reunion or the, the connectedness, the relatedness is the new story. large numbers of young people are waking up and they are saying we are not here just to work for multinational corporations and make money for them we are here to live we have to have a, find a meaning of life uh, the old story is story of measurement and the new story is to bring measurement and meaning together you cannot measure everything you cannot measure meaning and in this emerging story people are uh, moving away from the fossil fuel based economy to um, a more renewable economy. That is what is called transition town movement. And there are 300 towns in Britain which are making this transition, taking energy from solar power, from wind power, from water power. All this is new story, part of new story. Then also food. The old story, food is, it doesn't matter where it is grown, how it is grown, as long as it is packaged in plastic and put on the uh, uh, supermarket sh uh, shelves and, and bought as a commodity. New story is, food is not commodity. Food is sacred. We have to be connected with the food. So we need to be connected with soil. We need to be connected with, um, with animals that we take care of. So the relationship between food and humans uh, is emerging story. And, and we respect food and we participate in growing of food. Earth is not a, a dead matter. Earth is a living entity, it's a Gaia, living organism. And if it's a living organism, then we have to have a reverence for all life. We have respect for the soil, respect for the food. So food should be local. Food should be, we should participate in growing of food. Food should be organic rather than uh, these chemicals, fertilizers, pesticide, herbicide. And then we should also have natural food rather than going for uh, genetically engineered food. So new story is a story of wholeness. New story is a story of relatedness. New story is a story of connectedness. We do that by transforming our consciousness, transforming our values, transforming our way of making money. So at the moment, uh, for example, uh, maybe 10% of money in the world is related to goods and services. 90% of money is just moving around the world, chasing money. So money has become the ruler and we have become the servant. So how we change it? By changing our consciousness and say money should not be a commodity. Money should be a means to an end. People are increasingly becoming disappointed and disillusioned with politics because, uh, and with business. They are meeting business especially and, 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 and uh, market economy. They are meeting the physical needs of human beings maybe. They are providing food but not so good and healthy food. 
they are providing clothes, but not so healthy and good clothes. Um, uh, there is no beauty, there is no aesthetics, there is no um, organic uh, feeling, uh, there is no, uh, no good, uh, good feeling uh, about all these uh, material needs. However, they are providing them. But when you come to uh, the, the spiritual needs, the emotional needs, the, the needs of our inner life, the politics and business and technology are completely impotent, completely unable to meet and address the needs of human beings. But we human beings are not just body, we are spiritual beings. We have soul, we have spirit, we have mind, we have consciousness, we want fulfillment, we want happiness, we want satisfaction, we want joy, we want imagination, we want art, culture, music. The, our modern world of old story is completely failing humanity. This is the reason that increasing number of people are, have become and are becoming disillusioned from politics. People don't like voting. Whoever you vote, government gets in. Whatever they promise, they never fulfill. What's the point of voting? And therefore, people are looking for something which is more meaningful, which is more, um, more authentic. Our uh, uh, old story politics and old story uh, business and economics uh, is lacking this authenticity. They are not authentic. And people are looking for something authentic, something genuine, something sincere, something true, something honest. These are the qualities missing from the old story. This new story can happen only if we transform education. At the moment, education from age five, when children go to primary school, to age 20, when they finish at a university, they are being brainwashed. The children are being conditioned to think that the purpose of life is, at the end of their education, to get a good job. And, and generally, good job means you get paid, but you don't get satisfaction from your work. So, new story education is education which addresses this question. And New story education wants to bring profession and vocation together. At the moment, this uh, old story education pro provides you a profession, but not vocation. You do it only because you need to work, you need to earn money to buy your food, buy your clothes, pay the bills, uh, pay the mortgage. But human life is not only for paying the bills. Our life has a greater meaning and a greater purpose. I want to see a new story uh, education which is not only about head, not only about intellectual knowledge, uh, not only about um, measurement, not only about academic achievement, it is also about heart, feelings, emotions, relationship, love, compassion, generosity, beauty. All these values come from the heart. They are part of the heart. Then I want education to also give us skills. Modern old story education is de-skilling our young people. When you come out of the university, you don't know anything. You don't know how to grow food. You don't know how to cook food. You don't know how to make clothes. You don't know how to make chairs. You don't know how to make, uh, um, make pots and pottery. You don't know how to build a house. They are completely de-skilled education. I want new story education to be skilling uh, um, human beings and young people so that they can build a house, they can grow food. These are basic needs of human beings. Technology and all other things are icing on the cake. In Bhagavad Gita, there are three important words. Yagna, Dana, Tapas. I have translated them uh, and written a book about it called Soil, Soul and Society. So Yagna is human nature relationship. How we uh, live with nature, 
because we are nature ourselves. Uh, the word in English, nature, means to be born. And so we are nature. Uh, and so whatever we do to nature, we do to ourselves. So through yagna, we replenish nature. We replenish by taking care of nature, by putting compost, by uh, tending nature. And then uh, we have a second word, which is dana. So we not only replenish nature, we also replenish human society by giving, gift economy, by sharing, by receiving and by giving. That's a dana. And the tapas is replenishment of the self, of the soul, of the spirit. And so, uh, when, because we are all the time working hard, wearing, tearing, um, uh, lots of uh, uh, loss of body energy, lots of mental energy, lots of uh, heart energy. So replenishment of personal energy through meditation, through fasting, through solitude, through uh, caring for yourself. That is um, uh, tapas. New story is emerging in communities. So there are many, many good communities like Findhorn community, like Schumacher College, like Eco Villages. Um, new story is being uh, played out through ecological movement uh, and an eco movement, ecological movement, eco villages movement. So this is a new awakening. We are waking up so that we are not slaves of the market. Our human life has a greater meaning than just making money and making profit and, um, and working for the market or working for multinational corporations. Somehow multinational corporations and the market economy has transformed human beings into instruments of making money, making profit. Um, uh, human beings should be the end and money should be the means to an end. Caring for nature should be the end and money should be a means to take care of nature. Nature, humanity, uh, human welfare, human well-being, um, uh, human happiness, these are the ends. So this is the kind of transformation that we are uh, creating and this is happening now.